uh, we're going to dive straight in into uh, chapter five, just talking about community. The next uh, two, 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 three uh, weeks, we'll be talking about how community affects our earning, our growing, and our enjoying money, right? But today, just an introduction to community as a whole, right? And uh, Marcus uh, starts with uh, the court. Egyptian proverb, who says, he who loves his neighbor finds family around, you know. And, you know, we'll, we'll say it, it takes a village to raise a child, right? We all, none of us is here, you know, it's required to grow in isolation, right? We all get to be influenced just as much as we influence community, right? And community is whichever one we associate with, right? Communities by association. It's not just by name, as it were, you know? And we have that uh, verse uh, proverb in the Holy Book talks about, you know, he who has friends must show himself friendly, right? Otherwise that friendship is not really friendship, it's association, right? Uh, you know, to, for you to get the best value out of friendship, you have to show yourself friendship. Friendship, it's a given. Relationship is a given. Right, elder relationship is not about what you can get, but what you can give. Right, it's about what you can give, not what you can get. As much as what keeps the relationship together is what you get, not what you give. But it has to always be with a mindset of giving, not receiving. Right, if you go to a relationship for receiving, you're not. It's not going to be a healthy relationship. You're not going to get the best value out of the relationship if you do that. To get the best value out of any relationship, you have to go into it with a mindset of giving, not to receive it. So that proverb in the Holy Book tells us that he who has friends must show himself friendly, right? And that's the only time you're going to have a result where you have a friend that's closer than a brother. Because don't forget, friendship uh, has to do with you sowing into people's uh, emotional bank account. Right, you never know when you will need it. You never know when to answer for you. Right, so the Bible talks about casting your bread upon many waters. Go so in the morning. Go so in the evening. You never know the one you will need. You never know the one that will give you the returns. Life is about giving. Life is about giving. Life is about giving, not receiving. Right, if you leave receiving to God, you you leave. Is receiving to uh, infinite wisdom, infinite intelligence. You, it, will, it will supply to you as that when you need it in abundance. But for you to guarantee the supply, you have to keep and be in a place of giving, a place of blessing, a, a place of making sure there is something in your emotional bank account because you never know when you will need a withdrawal of that. Right, and for you to be sure that something there to withdraw, you have to put in there. Right, we are not in control as to when we really need it, but we're in control of our uh, of putting in, putting in, sowing, putting in, sowing. But God is a Lord of the others, and He will always cause the others to come to us in a way that would increase us, that would bless us that will meet our need when we need it, right? But that will happen if we have not taken time to sow, to invest, to put something in the ground that we can read of the harvest, right? Let's go a bit more in, in, into, into the study. And, you know, uh, so Matthew tries to define what community is. Well, our community is by association. You know, you, you build a community, you get into a community, Right, by us, it's, it's an association, right? It could be a, 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 a bike association by place, right? For me, here, this book club is a community, community of people that come to share this time with me, whether online or offline, right? But we are building a community of a book club because we're sharing books together, we're sharing knowledge together, right? And it's open, right? If you get to uh, come share with me on, on our Facebook portal, right? There's a book club here with, with uh, St. Haki on, on Facebook. Uh, there's also our, our YouTube, right? You're free to come in and, and comment, ask questions, share your opinion, let's, let's interact together because that's what community is, right? It's a place 
And while that place can be online, it can be a real face-to-face, -face, but it, 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 it's, it's just like we say, matter is anything that has, that has, um, that has weight and occupies, occupies space, right? A place is, is, a, is where people meet, right? It's, it could be online, offline, irrespective, right? And it could also be a situation, right? Something might just bring people together, right? Like right now we have a community of people that are standing up for uh, an incident that just occurred here in Nigeria where you, we had some animals uh, kill a young lady, right? All in the name of religion, right? And we are, we are from a community against such a, a bastardly or, or, or a wicked, atrocious, you know, event. Right, we have people standing up for Ukraine where you have Russia, you know, uh, flexing their muscle and just uh, killing people and destroying the nation. Right, so it could be a, a situation, a courage that gather people together. So it's a, 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 a situation, it's, it's pretty much the fact that they have a like mind, they have a commonality, right? Something that brings them together. It could be an organization, right? An organization could be like a school community a religious community, a spiritual center. It could be a sports team, arts, culture. You know, the key thing is the fact that there's a commonality. There's something, there's a nucleus. There's something that they, they, they share together, right? And, and, and that's just a general, you know, uh, definition or demarcation of the community, right? And when we talk about community here, yeah, you see, we, we, we initially we're talking about family, immediate family. Now we're going into community. You know, what comes to mind, you know, as we begin to share this, it, it's just the fact that um, I love I, I love Peter, Peter, Peter Drucker, and I favorably say he's probably the best or holy thing I learned from management school. It's what he, he, he said, I learned from him saying that the essence of any organization is found outside of the organization, not within the organization. The essence of every individual is found outside of the individual, not within the individual. Even though everything to be able to achieve the essence takes place on, on the inside of the individual. But all of that preparation is not just for the inside, it's to make an effect in the environment, in the community of the individual, right? So I will look, we'll begin to look at how our community affects us as a person and our best disposition to be able to get the best value out of community, right, as, as we go along. Uh, 